When I think about race and racism within community engagement, it's hard for me to untangle that from the history of the university um, and the history of the university in terms of displacement and um, disenfranchisement, who was invited to attend the university, who was accepted, and who feels accepted on the campus today. The university has been built on a, you know, on a history of racism. Um, and it is literally codifying and concretizing formal credentials and restricting access to the labor market. Out, out of the 14 Big Ten schools, we have the next to the lowest number of African Americans. It's only Nebraska that has fewer African Americans. And I, that, that's not an enviable statistic for us. So we have the greatest disparities across education and race and health, um, of, of some of the greatest disparities in the United States. We were leading educational disparity across race. Uh, the city of Madison in particular uh, had led that for a number of years, and I think uh, it's, it's improving, but it's still an area of challenge. The fact that we have UW as a university, great university, with lots of researchers, lots of very smart people, they should not, Madison should not have the disparity gap that it has. There has been tension, I think, between the university and the African-American community. Um, where my actual office is, is a part of what was then called the Greenbush section, which was the most ethnically diverse uh, section of the city. And all of those folks were displaced. My 108-year-old church used to be where one of the dorms is on uh, Johnson. So there's always been this back and forth between what is the relationship and the role of the, the, the university and the community. We, uh, we assume that we're a university, you know, we're, we're generally associate ourselves with positive kind of components of society. So when we're doing outreach, we think we're naturally doing something that's enhancing someone else in some way uh, through the expertise or skills that we embody as university faculty, staff, and students. But I've often found that outreach can be harmful um, particularly when it comes to reaching out to like Native American communities, that we haven't done our research, that we haven't done the homework that we should do ahead of time. Where, you know, these white students are having their eyes opened about like, I never knew the world was like this. And the students of color are like, are you kidding me? Like, have you had your eyes closed for your entire life? You're just realizing that systemic racism and oppression happens? A lot of the, the time I've been here has been learning um, what specifically my own identity means as a white woman, and then um, kind of the histories of race and racism in the city of Madison with the University of Madison. Um, so when you come into a place and a community, those histories are always there, <laughs> whether we notice them or not. And as a white person who will carry this legacy with me when I enter the community. It's something I constantly am trying to learn more about the impacts the university has had in the community, both positive and negative, and how I embody that in every space I go into, and how I can work to build relationships with people to not only let them know that I am an ally and a co-conspirator in the projects they're interested in, um, but also to not erase the impacts that the university has had across space and time. In an ideal world, the community engagement movement is a response um, to the very systemic racism that created the, um, the, the system of higher education. So what I am seeing here is that we have UW and we have the community. And, you know, we need to bring them together.